I feel like my mind is the engine and no cold tools are the vehicles to get there. My name is Melissa Mendez, and I'm a web designer, growth marketer in Orlando, Florida. I really get attracted by architecture, by shapes and, and combinations of things, juxtapositions that just go well in my eyes. So for me, that's very important to be surrounded by that. I went to college for advertising here in the U.S. in Fort Lauderdale. And after I graduated, I started in Data Grand. I was asked if I wanted to join their sales team. Data Grand is a machine learning company that helps you build data workflows, put them into production, and send the output to business apps really fast. The state of Data Grand when I got there was they were growing really fast. The product was good and the plan ahead was good, but at the moment it was not growing how they wanted it. I'm a very visual person and I will never not say anything if I see that there's some friction happening somewhere. I was looking at their branding and I noticed that the message was not aligning with their target audience. Because we're talking about data scientists, machine learning uh, engineers, and this is like very like rigid, straightforward people. And the design was white and it had icons and little illustrations, like it just didn't go with it. And I sat with the CEO and I was like, we need to rebrand the company. And his answer was like, no, are you crazy? This is gonna cost so much money. We don't have time. We're like working on our product. So I started sending him research that I was doing. Like I was just relentless. I was convinced. I was like, this is going to change your company and we need to do it. I already had all the ideas in my head. And then he started getting excited. And I, I brought in the chief creative officer. I'm like, Miguel, look at this. Then he's like, have you heard of Webflow? And I was like, Webflow? No. I go on Webflow and I see this no code to make websites. Interesting. Okay, so how do I learn it? Of course, I open an account right away. I need to learn this because my boss had said, if you know how to use Webflow, maybe you could make the new website. I went ahead and started learning Webflow University, like from A to C. And I did every single um, lesson in Webflow University and it was awesome. I started sending him like ideas and my boss was like, oh my God, this is so cool. Like, he's like, wow, like you guys can really do this. Like this is really going to like change the game for us. My boss was like, do it, just do it. I remember the dev team was like, no, 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 no. Webflow is a template. They, they, you can't do this. You can't connect the platform and everything that they were saying, I was like Googling it and I was like finding it. And I'm like, no, you, you can do it. Like, look, and I would like show them the receipts. Listen, we can do this. We can do that. At that moment, I was like doing a disaster on the back end. Obviously, like I was like placing div blocks where they didn't have to go and structure here and not, it was just a whole mess. But I was like, I'm learning. I'm just going to learn. The first design came out. We designed it on Adobe XD and then transferred the design to Webflow. Everything worked. We had, you know, very simple animations. My boss was like really happy with it. We didn't have to take time out of the development team to work on the website because I could do it. So that meant that they had 
more resources, meaning more team members to work on the actual product. When we launched it, I remember we were getting emails like, like your site is so cool. Like, what are you guys doing? This is so interesting. And it had tied with the new branding. The goal for the website when I redesigned it was to really convey the message effectively. They were having trouble being able to make the user understand what they were doing. And when we first started, the conversion rates were like very, very low. And after it went up like 400%. It was just crazy. And then once I was done with that, we said, okay, let's focus on SEO. And because Webflow used to make that so easy for me, I took it on, optimized the site, and it went from 3% health score up to like 98%. And then the blog went from like 5% to 100%. So you can imagine my boss was like, oh my God, like this is just awesome. The company literally made a 180. People now were noticing the company because we implemented all of these no-code tools. We were able to see exponential results. For Datagram, we use Webflow as our website platform, to HubSpot for marketing. We use Notion for product development and Hotjar for tracking. Before, we used to have someone demoing the product. Now, we can automate the whole process and provide a user onboarding, send it into production to Intercom that is simple, it's automated, and it's great quality. And we can allocate those resources that we're not using anymore because we have this automation in place for something else that could be more beneficial for the company like our dev department or our administrative department. When you have a company that is always changing and when you have users that are always changing, you need to act fast. So that's what no-code tools provide. Being fast and being lean, agile on the spot. After I did Data Grant's website and I had more experience building Webflow websites, a friend of mine mentioned a freelancer marketplace. She told me, hey, if you already have experience with Webflow, why don't you go ahead and open an account as a freelancer? I've been doing marketing for a while now, and I wanted to try something new. So I felt like Webflow just gave me that creative outlet to design and build anything that I wanted. When I got my first gig, for me, it was surreal because I'm getting money out of a skill that I learned because of the experience I had gained from Datagram. Little by little, I started getting more work here and there. And then next thing you know, I'm making $30,000 more a year. And I'm like, okay, wait, I can't ignore this anymore. What am I gonna do? I just had this itch. I feel like I, I just needed to do something. Like it was like a fire in me that woke up. It just resonated with me and made me realize that I could make this an actual business. What excites me about the freelance business is that I can dip into each business and provide feedback and my experience based on what I have lived before. I just love doing it. And I work from home. I'm relaxed. I'm happy. I have time to be with my husband. Everything in my life just changed. Because for me professionally, I didn't really think that I could do all the things that were in my mind. So my engine was always going, but I never had the correct tools to do it. 
we in a way are like the underdogs because before all this work was specifically for, for developers. If you didn't hire a developer or engineer, you weren't able to do anything in that space. So I feel like I can build anything now and there's no friction whatsoever. To be able to have all the tools in my hands to create anything I want just puts me in a position that allows me to explore and basically just like take over the world or my world in a way because I can just create anything. And it's just the possibilities are endless and I'm excited for what's to come.